and welcome to another edition of St. Louis 7 following an episode on OT with Alvaro, wherever you get your podcast. Had a ball this episode talking with Hall of Fame coach Rich Crower and his youngest son, Brian, joining us from Innsbruck in the front seat of his car. All right, first question, St. Louis 7, Coach Grower, where'd you go to high school and what do you remember? I went to high school at St. Louis University High, and I remember just being totally involved and immersed in that school academically, extracurricular-wise, and with faculty members uh, being so, so nice to me. Brian, you're my first guest from Pattonville. What do you remember about Pattonville? Pattonville Pirates, baby. Uh, just loved it. Great group of people there. Um, my senior year, we won 18 games in a row. Not near as bad, much as Dad's 63 at Smith, but 18, years in a row, 18 wins in a row was, was pretty special. Coach, when you go to Ted Drew's, what do you order? I order a Sunda with strawberries and pineapples on it. Brian? I get a Sunday, just a strawberry Sunday. Pretty basic. Coach Grower, you got a favorite, favorite concert in St. Louis? You know, this is going to sound terrible. I have never attended a concert in my life. Brian, pick up the slack, man. What's your favorite concert? He's basketball all the time, man. It didn't have time for a concert. Um, so I went to, I mean, I don't go to many either. So my mine was probably a Tribe Called Quest when I was in uh, college at, at Riverport Amphitheater. Coach, when you win the 20th game of the season, where do you go out for dinner to celebrate? Usually I come home, put the tape in the uh, machine, and watch the game. There's really no celebration, you know, particularly when you're a college coach because of, you know, people recognize you, and I didn't want to be recognized. Brian, you're in Columbia. Big win over Kansas. Where do you go to celebrate? Oh, um, CJ's. I need some wings over at CJ's. Coach, you encounter 10 stop signs. How many do you roll? None. Brian? Now I don't know. Ask my kids. They know I'm the slowest driver there is. Uh, earlier, I rolled a lot, but, uh, but definitely not, none anymore. In front of his father, he confesses. <laughs> Coach, people come and visit you in St. Louis. Where do you take them? Uh, usually, we go to places like the zoo. Uh, we'll go just drive down to uh, various uh, our, our old neighborhoods, I'd like to show them my, my uh, old neighborhood of Cherokee Street down deep south. Brian? Well, they got to they gotta have Emo's, Lion's Choice, uh, when they're here for sure. So I would say every time we have anybody come in, I always take the Lion's Choice. When your brother Rick comes into town, where do you take him? <laughs> uh, Rick doesn't sit still. So when he's in town, he, he's, he's going to the gym. He's going to go eat a whole pot, entire Emo's pizza. Then he's going to go back to the gym and work out some more um, and then probably play tennis or go outside and play wiffle ball or something. But, but Emo's will definitely be in part of, of Emo's in the gym for Rick when he's here. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this up again for people who want to listen to the episode. It's wherever you get your podcasts, OT with Oliver, with Coach Rich Grower and Brian Grower. Last question. We're going to start with Brian. Coach Grower, yours is going to be a little different. Brian, yours is the following question. What makes you proud to be a Grower? Oh, man. Just, um, I love having the Grower name. And I think it, it comes, um, you got to be respectful. You got to have a reputation. You got to, there's a legacy that mom and dad have built uh, through their life of making sure that the Grower name is attached to humbleness, respect, um, and a proper religious base. To, to have everything with and so that's why I try to carry on myself and coach again thank you for your time your question what makes you proud to be a St. Louisan oh I think because St. Louis is my home uh, I'm, I'm proud of all the accomplishments that the city of St. Louis has achieved uh, I think not only in sports but in race relations and everything else uh, I just think St. Louis is a great place to to, to raise a family and obviously, that's, that, that's been a very important part of my, my life, trying to get back to St. Louis to coach, which I did. Gentlemen, stay safe, stay healthy. Let's go see the Cardinal game. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. David. Bye.